you guys see that <clears throat> i'm off the wait list for the cash management portion of robin hood but that's not all i want to talk about in this video um the market has been going up and down and up and down hundreds sometimes thousands of points in a single day um and this is just a great time to capitalize on some good deals i want to go through my portfolio and show you guys what i've been doing um in these uh, very opportunistic times if that's even a real word but um let's go ahead and check out my robin hood dividend portfolio hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel i'm michael romero if you don't know who i am i am a small time youtuber small time investor just trying to do some big things while teaching you guys everything that i've learned over the past years of my life doing um uh, reading and courses and videos and all kind of stuff just learning about personal finance if you're new here go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you can join this little family we got going on guys while you're down there go ahead and smash that like button for the youtube algorithm also because it helps this channel more than you guys know um since we are so small anyway uh so as you guys know over the past since the beginning of the year really um Everything has been a little rocky in the world economy and in the stock market hasn't been doing as fantastic as it was over the previous, I don't know, 10 years, five years, whatever. We were seeing all time highs. Now we're seeing record <laughs> drops in the market due to you guys know what's going on right now, the spread of it. And um, also because of the OPEC thing that's going on with Saudi Arabia and Russia, the whole all deal. But in these wild times it is a perfect time for you to set up your portfolio to get into new positions in order to set yourself up for the uh future right you want to buy low sell high that's the whole strategy right well if we're at record breaking highs and then we drop to lows you want to buy them lows so you want to buy when it's good and buy when it's bad that's how you capitalize on some of the best deals you can make um you can set yourself up for some really huge gains in the future. And I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing in order to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the Robinhood account. Um, first, let's get started on this cash management app, 1.3 and 1.3 APY on the unused cash in your um, Robinhood account. Uh, it was 1.8, but you know the Fed dropped the interest rate half a percent, so Robin Hood did the same. And I'm going to go ahead and get the green card. We're going to pretend like we read all of this. We're going to pretend like we read all of this. We're going to pretend like we read all of this. <laughs> and it's saying I have to sh take a picture of my ID. I'm not going to do that. I'll do that later on. But anyway. You guys see what's going on here. So let's go ahead and check out my uh, portfolio. So over the past day, I was up uh, about $208, so about 7% bounce back on Friday. On the week, I'm down 11.68%, which is $405.09. On the month, I'm down $851.51, which is 21.75%. Three months, I'm down $799.22, which is 20%. Sounds like a lot. It is a lot. I have a rough, you know, I have a smaller account, so it's not really worrisome. I'd rather take a large hit now than a, a bigger hit later, but uh, I'm definitely gonna make it work. I'm not worried about it. I'm using this opportunity to buy a bunch more stocks, a bunch more positions, so I can really gain this back later once the market starts to rebound um as you can see here everything is pretty much down except for o wpg and delta airlines which is a new position <clears throat> and guys if you want to earn a free stock through robin hood all you got to do is open up an account using the link in the description um you don't even have to deposit any money once you do that you'll earn a free stock and i'll earn a free stock from it also Webull 
is in the description also. If you use that link to download it and open up account, just for opening up account, you get a free stock. And if you deposit a minimum of $100, you get a second free stock. I also get a free stock just for you guys opening up an account. So go ahead and do so. Um, if you're kind of worried about using Robinhood since the outage we had, go ahead and use that link in the description to open up a Webull account um, and take advantage of those free stocks and try it out and see. It's actually a awesome, um, it's actually an awesome brokerage to use. Also, M1 Finance and Acorns in the description. Go ahead and check those out if you guys wish to open up accounts with them. If not, hey, I feel you. Okay, so over the past few days, I've been adding a lot of positions in. So March 6th, I was paid a uh, dividend of $1.52. I then reinvested that $1.52 into Pfizer, which that's what the, um, the dividend came from. Um, let's see. I bought one share of um, Iberia Bank for $43.98, <clears throat> which basically dropped my uh, average cost like $20 or 10 bucks or close to 20 bucks, well, like 15 bucks, something like that. Um, so now I own two shares of this and I will be reinvesting the dividends back into it like I normally do. Let's see. Next we have MJ. I bought three shares of MJ at $10.11 on March 12th for a total of uh, $30.33. And I dropped my uh, average cost down to $16.68. So now I have a total of uh, 25 shares of this bad boy. And I'm down pretty substantially, um, 38%. I'm not worried about it because uh, I do believe that this is gonna pick back up. I believe all of these are gonna pick back up. That's why I'm continuing to buy shares, uh, portions in them and adding to these um, positions. So next we have Delta Airlines. I bought two shares at $36.79 for a total of uh, $73.58. As you can see, Delta Airlines is down over the past month, 36%. Over the past three months, 34%. Over the past week, 14%. So I think they're gonna you know, pop back up once the whole travel ban comes back. Uh, well, not comes back, but gets lifted and all that. Once everything blows over because of the old spread of uh, the old drinky poo, you know what I mean? But this is also a dividend. It has a dividend yield of 4.197% uh, and market cap of 24 billion. This is a great position to my portfolio. Hopefully over the next couple of days or weeks, I'll be able to add more into this position because I've been wanting to get into uh, travel stock, airplane stock, um, but I wasn't able to because of the price. Now is a perfect time for me to get into it. Um, 52 week high of $63, 52 week low of $33. So we're pretty close to that low. But you know, the whole market has been hitting lows, uh, one year lows over the past two weeks. So we could be seeing a lot more of that. So Stag Industrial, um, I bought another share of Stag Industrial at $22.34, lowering my average cost to $28.07 and have a dividend pending for 60 cents for only 5.036498 shares. <laughs> it's about 12 cents a share and I will be reinvesting that back into the dividend, uh, back into the stock. Next we have uh, SPHD Power Shares and uh, I bought one share at $31.47, which lowered my average cost down to $4.44. Um, still a dividend yield of 5.533%. If it, I, I want to put a lot more money into this bad boy, I'm probably gonna try to get it to $1,000 as fast as possible, as far as equity is concerned into this. Anyway, um, let's see. Next we have AGNC. I bought another share of AGNC at $11.37, um, which lowered my uh, average cost down to $15.89. So now I have over 12 shares of AGNC down 21% on here. Next, we have MPW, Medical Properties Trust. This one uh, I bought for $17.09, lowering my average cost 
of uh, $18.16 and I do have a dividend coming up of uh, $1.62 and I have seven shares of this bad boy. Next we have PSEC and I have uh, I bought one share of it at $5.01. Now I have 41 shares of PSEC with an average cost of $6.24. And I have a dividend coming up of $1.08 for owning over 31 shares of this bad boy. Next, we have Ford. Uh, I bought one share of Ford at $5.36. Uh, finally below not the $9 mark. I'm actually down to $8.45. Um, I think I added like 12 or maybe not 12. I think 11 shares, 9 or anywhere between 9 and 11 shares of Ford since this whole thing started. Actually, let's see. Uh, okay, about seven shares at $5.41. March 12th, March 10th, about one share, and March 13th, about one share. So, about nine shares. Um, I'm still down like 33%, almost 200 bucks, but my average cost is below $9, which I've been wanting. Getting actually closer to the $8 mark, uh, $8.45, and I own 61 shares of this. Can't wait to see what the next dividend is gonna look like for this. Um, I see that's just a transfer. This is a, because I owned um, Realty Income, it gave me a dividend. Let's view the dividend and I'm going to be reinvesting the dividend back into it. So yeah, guys, this is basically, I'm basically just adding new positions to the portfolio that I see fit that I've been wanting to get in to further diversify my portfolio and also adding to positions already in my portfolio, just kind of picking and choosing when and where to put my money. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a perfect time to get into, uh, the stock market right now is better than tomorrow you know what i mean right now is the perfect time to do it um because we're hitting lows with my personal opinion i think we still have rocky times to come definitely gonna see some volatility this coming week uh especially with every, you know all these ceos stepping down um just everything in general it's crazy times and it's a great time to be an investor and a trader and a swing trader day trader um like I said, guys, if you want to start investing, if you haven't yet chosen to walk that journey to financial enlightenment, uh, go ahead and click one of the links in the description to open up with an, a brokerage account with Webull, um, Robinhood, M1 Finance, or Acorns, whatever it is, whatever you decide to use, just start today because now's the best time to start in general. Today's always the best time to start. As long as you start today, whether we record highs or record lows, just start and you'll be on your way to where you want to be in the future. But guys, um, if you see this back here, this pie, I'm going to leave a link in the description <clears throat> so you can check out my dividend spreadsheet. It's absolutely free. Um, and just had a couple people ask about it. So there's a link in the description. From here on out, I'm going to leave that link. Um, and I pretty much update it once a week or pretty much every time I buy uh, new portions to put into the portfolio. So, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys are doing, what you guys are buying in these uh, fantastic opportunistic times. Uh, also, if you are still watching this video and you haven't, subscribe yet go ahead and consider clicking that red subscribe button turning it gray so you can join this little family we got going on it's constantly growing guys let's see if we can get to 450 subs by the end of march by april 1st because that would be great i think we're at like 414 right now so let's see if we can bump them numbers up you guys are doing awesome <clears throat> thanks for all the love and the support you guys are showing and i'm striving to make better videos and better quality content for you guys um but look keep hustling keep uh add money to your accounts don't let the fear fuel your fear don't let other people's fear fuel your fear um but anyway uh <coughs>
If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you have to do is click one of these videos. Guys, peace. I'm out. Y'all have a great day.